Give it all to me, bro. yeah. Bro, take that back upstairs, man. Take that back upstairs. Come on, bro. You Why you way hating? too much energy, bro. Why you hating? Why you hating on me? Bro, I just came I down know. here for some peace and quiet. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody down here. Come on, bro. Get up. Get up and dance with you, bro. I don't care. Come All right? On, get man. your happy-go-lucky self back upstairs. Go do something. Bro, why? I ain't finna let you okay, come out well, by. I gotta go to work, work then. Bro. No, because you made don't, too much noise upstairs. And now you're Don't get mad at me. Chris here. Brown is gigging right now. The vibration of peace. Don't you see the vibration of don't peace? Don't you see right the now? vibration of dance? Come on now. Get with it. I'll see you. I'm going to work. Bro, I ain't even, I ain't real, real talk, I ain't even trying to hear that. Right Just make sure. I'm you, going to work. Hurry up and go to work. I'm going to, hey. I'm going to work. So just like in every haircut that you do, you wanna make sure that you comb the hair out, lay the hair down, brush the hair in place. That way you start off neat. How you start is how you finish. So make sure you start with a clean canvas. So my client wanted his six on top. So I went ahead and grabbed my six guard with the lever fully closed using my Andis Masters going against the grain multiple times to ensure that everything is at that length. a high taper so i decided with this look that he has i'm gonna give him a burst taper it's just another form of a high taper so right now i'm making my ball line into a triangle like shape using my babyless fx trimmers now switching to a different set of clippers using my stylecraft instinct x with the lever open, I'm going up about an inch, making sure I stay in that triangle-like shape. Switching over to the one guard with the lever open, same thing, going in that triangle-like shape, going up about a half inch. So I'm not gonna worry about that bulk that's on top. I'm just gonna work on blending my way down, all right? I just closed the lever on that one guard and I'm softening up that middle line. Now putting on the zero guard with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. Remember that I'm using my corners the entire time. So I like to detail um, after I use that zero guard. Sometimes the zero guard can't take out everything. So I go behind it with the lever open and I just go in there and kind of detail those bulk areas. Now with the lever fully closed in the flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. Now. The same way I flicked out that middle line using my corners is how I'm flicking out this bottom line. I'm starting below the line, flicking to the line. And if I need to adjust my lever, I'm going to adjust my lever as I go up. So to add another 
transition to the blend, I'm just going to shave the bottom half using my Flex Instincts, all right? And when doing this, it adds another transition. Also, it makes it a lot cleaner at the bottom. So because I fade it down, um, I'm able to notice that it's not a lot of bulk that I need to remove. So I grab my number two guard and I'm just flicking out some of that bulk that's at the top. So last but not least, detailing. Detailing is key, all right? What I like to do is I like to refer to the mirror. The mirror shows you a different perspective on the blend this, than just seeing it head on, all right? Also, if you don't have access to a mirror, make sure you rest your eyes for a minute, come back to the blend, and just start doing corner work, all right? Use that, that edge of that blade like if it's a thinning shear, all right? Get in between those bulk areas and just take your time, all right? Um, the detailing process is all about what you can see how you can perfect the blend as much as possible so i'm going to use the same steps that i use to blend the hair up the only difference is is that i'm going downward to fade the beard in what you want to do is make sure you memorize these steps it's very important that way you can speed up your time when cutting So I want to get my client's hair to lay down just a little bit better than this. Uh, so I'm going to put this product in his hair. It's called the Silky Mousse Foam by IcedOutProducts.com. All right. Uh, the owner is Jackie Starr. Her Instagram is uh, Iced Out Barber. All right. This is the barber that used to cut Mayweather. And uh, she's definitely an OG in the game. So her products is always trusted. After applying the product in the hot towel, I'm just gonna blow dry everything forward.
Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, I spin them in the full 360, and they come out looking like... God did! YouTube, this is The Cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother. He does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, links will be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official 360 Jeezy and my Instagram is 360 Jeezy. But it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here.